Hello, everybody. Welcome to It Matters Radio. I am so excited to be back with our musical guest in our brand new studio in California. And uh, we have a fantastic guest that we have with us tonight. And we're so, so happy to share him with you. And if this is your first time here, my name is Monica Brinkman. And joining me, of course, is the lovely Carrie Hall, who is our musical guest host. Hello, Carrie. Nice to see Hi, you. Hi, Monica. Nice to have you back. I'm, we're very glad to have you on the West Coast now. Yes, that's where I belong. <laughs> Carrie, I see a wonderful gentleman here with us this evening. Could you introduce him to all of us? I am so delighted to introduce this guy because not only is his music fantastic, he's an animal lover and all, all kinds of neato things. I like uh, the audience uh, to be introduced to the wonderful Jay Max. Welcome, Jay Max, to our show. Hi, Jay Max. Hi, Terry and Monica. Nice to meet you. Thank you for having me on your show. Oh, you are so welcome. Yeah, I've been listening to your music, and it's fantastic. Can't wait to share. Well, we just heard a song, so isn't he great, guys? I know you all yeah. agree that. <laughs> so, J-Max, I love the name J-Max. How did you come up with that wonderful name? That's an interesting question. You see, what happened was I was, like, training at the gym at one time, and I was thinking, hmm, wonder what I can call myself as a stage name to, because I do a lot of dancing and you know, I like to be very eccentric the way I dress on stage and you know and my whole persona so I thought to myself hmm, okay and then the name just popped up Max and then I just thought of my name Justin and I just took the you know the Justin I don't know put their J J to the max, because J Max likes to take the audience to the max and makes the audience part of the show and yes. connect with the audience. Yeah, you know it's interesting, Carrie. If you mm. if you Google T J Max, J Max comes up also. Really? <laughs> That's a store. So a lot of shoppers are going to see your name. <laughs> <laughs> So, Jay Max, you use such an eclectic mix of music, and there were a few musical genres I wasn't um, knowledgeable of. One is Kuwaito. Tell me a little bit, what is Kuwaito? That's a very interesting uh, topic about Kuwaito. Kuwaito is a, a, a very much of an African sound that they use here in South Africa. So what they do is they mix like a lot of the, the, the drums, the actual beats that they formulate together. And it's like a very unusual sound that they use. It's more like a tribal, like a tribal sound. Mm. And they use the very uh, uh, eclectic elements of the African beats. When they formulate that sound, it's a very unusual sound that, uh, how can I say, it's Africanized. So what's happening now with that sound that they're using now, it's becoming very popular in South Africa, but also what's happening now, a lot of these African artists that use that sound, they're getting invited to perform in like Holland or they go to, because now the sound's becoming more and more popular. Mm. This is a very unusual sound. And they get invited to America, England, mm. Germany. So it's quite interesting now that it's becoming more noticeable. It's, wow. about, it's about time, actually. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yes. That sound's been a long, around a long, long time. You know? mm. A long time. It goes yeah. back like generations. Yes. Now, the other one that was mentioned in your bio was house. Now, that was spelt with a capital H. Is that what is house music? House music, that's, it's a very, it's very similar to, how can I say, it's a, like a dance, like a dance, fusion okay. dance, but it's, it's, the house has got more like an African element to it. Okay. So, they use those 
So it's like African dance, mm. but, but it's got a bit of that, uh, not too much trance, but a touch of the trance element, but it's got a more of a dance, but an Africanized dance taste to it. So right. it's like you mix in a bit of a salad, but it's they put that extra spice into that ah. salad to give it that extra African fusion dance. Cool. And they, and they use a little bit of that African, uh, um, uh, how can I say, uh, if you heard, like Grace Jones. Yes. With mm -hmm. her voice. That, that kind of voice will work very well with house music, with that dance, African dance house, um, tribal. It's got a touch of the trance, very unusual. But, but it's got that nice element to it that gives it that nice spice. It makes cool. you want to dance on that dance floor. Well, yeah. <laughs> Who does it does. Like <laughs> well, you, you've been a, uh, you're relatively young. When did you start getting interested in that type of music? And when did you decide to fuse it into your own music? I started when I was five years old in, in the church. I used to be a gospel singer and I used to sing mm -hmm. a lot of, of um, gospel songs growing up because my father and my mother were very, like, my upbringing was, was quite strict. And then what happened over a period of time, I started going to more of a spiritual sense of um, communication with music and med doing a lot of meditation and going through meditation you get answers from the universe of writing your songs, compositions, sounds, um, messages from the other side giving you information how to compile your songs and come up with a message to give to other people and pull people into your conversation involve everyone into your you know into your songs to to actually spread the message a positive message it could be someone that's very depressed or someone that's gone through a divorce or someone that's feeling down and they want to be uplifted so that so the messages are very positive and will lift those people up of any aspect of their life however they feel they need to, you know, be pulled yeah. that that lack. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's that that's that's really beautiful. So you come from what was called a quote unquote a royal family. Uh, talk a little bit about the mix in your family, because I think you have Portuguese, German. Yes. Uh, <laughs> tell me about that. I think that's wonderful. That is so interesting. It, it's quite a. I'll, I'll put the long story short. My mother comes from a royal Portuguese, Count Palia, Gassesh Palia. Okay. Her, her great great grandfather was the governor of Ma, Ma, Macau. Oh. And, and the, yeah, the great, and what he, he did was he was also a painter, and he did the painting of Vasco da Gama. Oh. If you know who. Maybe you guys all might know who Vasco da Gama is. Yes, I, I'm familiar, sort of familiar with that artist. Yes, yes. Just many, many, many years, many years back. And then from my father's side, but my mother was also in the circus. Oh. Ah. With my grandfather, because he, he used to, my grandfather used to be the world's youngest, I mean, sorry, where am I going? My mom was the young, world's youngest acrobat. She started at 18 months of age. Oh wow! wow. <laughs> and my and my grandfather was the world's champion, world champion trapeze art, trapeze art artist. Wow. And he never used to use a net. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> With my grandmother, <laughs> so oh. they both used to go on the trapeze. With my aunt as well, and they they never used to use the the net at the bottom. So they used to like. Uh, how can I say? They like to play 
Russian roulette. They were like trapeze. they were daredevils. Oh. Yeah, I guess they so. Were daredevils. Oh. Evil can evil there, uh, J Max. Wow, <laughs> that's best. So um, I have to ask you, J Max, why didn't you get into the circus? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a very good question, because through my father's side, he was he while well, still till this very day, he he's into music. He plays he plays the keyboards, and he plays the electric guitar. Um, so what happened was he trained me up with my vocal. So he was quite strict with me working on my vocal stage personality. Um, so what happened is I used to really rehearse with my father on a daily basis with a lot of scales, um, music compositions, different sounds, ethnics, working with different people watching other artists collaborate together, um, African artists with white artists, and they sing like a lot of the soul music of the um, fusion of gospel music. Mm -hmm. So that's where it came from uh, with me experiencing with a lot of different sounds and elements, working with different artists and gave me more direction to follow the music side where my passion lied. Um, also with my, ma with, uh, can I say, with my mad self as an artist, I do more or less follow the circus side <laughs> with that <laughs> eccentric self. <laughs> but you so put, I a bit of both. You put it in your music instead. And speaking of music, we're going to take a break <laughs> right now. Yes, and we are. And we're going to play some more of J Max's music, and we'll be back with you to chat in just a bit. Here you go. Draws a vein on this rainy day. A stone keeps on shining and burning like a fire. Broken glass and shattered dreams, trust gone away beneath all these different faces. Numbers turning at a pace. She's a diamond digger, such a soul killer. She will only break your heart and tear your soul apart. Web weaver, she will take a pound of flesh and then she'll leave you spent. Yeah. The sun and moon turn to darkness and breaking for the chances. Shades of lust behind the truth all turns to dust in the bedroom. Fairy tale keys to these gates. Wishing well turns to fate Holding tight for delight How much more is enough? She's a diamond digger Such a soul killer She will only break your heart And tear your soul apart Gold digger Such a web weaver She will take a pound of flesh And then she'll leave you spent
Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I hope you are enjoying J Max's fabulous music. This has just been delightful conversation so far. So let's talk a little bit about your music, Justin. You have some songs that are really killer. I wanted to talk a little bit about the song Diamonds. Tell me a little bit about that. Oh, that's so cool. Diamonds. What actually happened is when I recorded that song, um, it had I had this picture of James Bond and this woman, you know, um, that's that's his uh, fiance. But basically, this guy has a lot of money, and this woman is basically she's she's so uh, how can I say she's lost. In the world of money and diamonds and lust because this guy actually attracts her with his money so he actually pulls her in so he ties her up in a web of darkness by taking her in by enticing her that oh, i've got this money i can get you these gifts all these lavish gifts i can take you here i can take you there but she's she's portraying to be happy but deep down inside she's actually very unhappy and this guy looks at her and says but you're a gold digger a, a diamond digger <laughs> <laughs> so it, <laughs> and so that's it, what you get right <laughs> you're it, exactly, so, it, it, exactly you see because what what actually happened was i collaborated the song with a guy called Emmanuel Castus. He's a very famous South African artist. He's a famous singer here, and he's a famous actor. Um, and he goes also by the name of Manu. Ah. So we decided to collaborate the song together. We're going to be doing the video in the next two months, which I'm going to be directing the video as well. Part of it's going to be animation. And part of it is going to be um, like realistic. Yeah. So it's going to be very unusual, you know, filtered, but still with that James Bond element. 
Well, you'll I have, love that. You'll have to share that with us when you get it. Do please. share that with us. <laughs> oh, please. I love please. It. We yeah. can play it on the show. Yeah. Another song that I just love is Sassy Girl. Oh, everybody, oh, everybody loves Sassy Girl, I think. <laughs> sassy Girl. And I love this line, the way you move just drives me crazy. I love yeah. that. Talk, talk a little bit about that song, because that song's great. Sure, that song, Sassy Girl. Let me tell you a whole st little story about Sassy Girl. For two years, that song kept on going back and forth with the writing of the lyrics and going through different sounds, working, trying this producer and then trying that producer to get that actual sound that I had this picture in my head of how the actual song should sound and how the girl should look like and the story should be the lyrics of the song and how to convey the message. That song I actually recorded about five times to actually get the rights. I had to leave the song for a few months, then go back to the song, then leave it again and then go back to the song. And then eventually something actually popped and said, okay, let's use that sound, use that producer, bring that element into it, make those words pop. And what actually makes the actual song is when you bring in the hook, which is the chorus, like sa -sa 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 sassy girl. Yeah. So when he sees this girl, he's actually stuttering because he's like so f fascinated the way she looks and her whole persona and how she comes across. And when they see each other, their eyes lock together. Oh, and yes. And they pull each, other into each other's worlds. Yeah. I, I love this song. I, it's absolutely fabulous. So now, there is a tour coming up, I understand, in India. Is that correct? Are you going to be doing, talk, talk a little bit about your tour coming up. Yes. Well, what's happening, the dates are coming in this month, uh, before the end of the month. We planning between six to eight shows. I'm going to go to each city of India. What we're going to be doing is each show is going to be very, how can I say, it's going to have a lot of graphics, like on the screens, on the projector screens. But I'm going to be doing a lot of dancing, the outfits that I wear, um, pulling the uh, pulling the. Um, the audience in involving them into the music and actually you know every now and again pull someone up into the you know from the crowd oh they'll be the so stage. excited yeah that'll be great all right <laughs> so <laughs> when does that officially start or do you guys have a date yet for that in india we go, we're going to i'm going to be i'm going to start touring around about august okay I would say around about just before the middle of August till the end of August. So I'd say between two and a half, three weeks. Now, with the tour. Will, they, will there be a place where they can get tickets to that, the people in the area? Well, what will be happening is um, I'm going to be, once the dates are set, I'm going to start um, posting all over social media where the actual tickets will be sold and. Um, because they can also get tickets at the door as well. All right, good, good. If right. he's not so uh, loud, guys. <laughs> yeah, you better, get, you better get better get hot because J Max is bopping. Let me tell you. And uh, uh, should they would would they want to uh, look uh, on any particular site for the announcement to come through when the tickets are available and when your tour dates are? Yes, on my Facebook page on the J Max Music site. All uh, right. The, uh, w www.jmax j m a w x dot com sorry www.jmax music j m a w x music dot com yeah look at so the music. That's, yeah. so that's going to be all post on that site also on my twitter account on the jmax twitter account and my facebook account okay cool. good good because we want to be looking for that and those lucky people that are going to be in India and such. Yeah, yes. <laughs> so, uh, fun. Uh, Jay, yeah. Jay Max, do you have a CD coming out maybe in the next few months? Or are you working on a CD? Or Well, what's happening now is 
when I come back from India, I'm going to be doing a music video for Diamonds, but I'm right. actually going to be remixing Diamonds. I'm going to be remixing okay. the song. Mm. And then shortly after that, I'm going to be recording another three songs. Um, my manager, Mark Rosner, will be arranging for me as an artist to collaborate with an international artist, Ooh. a well-known artist, which I'm not too sure who it's going to be. <laughs> He's going to be arranging that. It's going to be a surprise. <laughs> so I'm going to be it's going to be a nice surprise. I'm going to be recording three um, dance tracks. And then that will be a spin-off of the actual album, the rest of the album that I'm going to be recording, which will be about 16 to 18 tracks. Cool. In total of the whole, which I've already written the songs already. Oh, great. Wow. You know, one, wow. thing, one thing about your music, um, you – seem to write songs and um, have the music that goes along with them, the lyrics and the, and the music that entertain people so much. You know, I, I think that you just um, are one of those people that is giving to the audience as much as you can of yourself and your abilities. And that's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say 110% J-Max J because oh, I was just, thank go you. ahead. Thank I was going to so say that uh, they have, you have down that you're, you give yourself 110 plus to your audience that you will get out there on stage. Tell us your philosophy on, you know, your, what you're feeling out there. What do you want the audience to feel from you? Yeah, what, what experience do you want to give them? Yes. I want to take them to a world, you know, a, a different world because what's happening on the earth, there's so much hate and animosity and bigotry in what's happening. So what I would like to convey in my messages and through my shows, um, I would like to take the people away from all the, the badness that's happening on the planet yeah. and pull them into a different realm, a realm of magic and pull them into, take them back to their childhood and experience joy, happiness, love, uniting together and, you know, where there's no um, separation, there's acceptance beyond belief. And, you know, when they leave the show, I want them to actually remember the show as well and you, you want know, to that actually lift lifted their joy their, their being up yes you, know, you want them to feel great after they've seen your show or after they've listened to your music right yes <laughs> now <laughs> you met the king of pop would that be michael jackson perhaps yes who did you I, meet? I met i met michael jackson back in 1998 in november uh I still remember the date, the 25th of November. Actually, what happened was how I got to meet him. I was working at the Michelangelo Hotel. And Michael Jackson used to come there at least once a year, sometimes twice a year, because he was actually thinking of buying part of Sun City back in the day. <laughs> and um, then I, I came across his business partner called Baden de Horror which was his secret business partner that used to be behind, that used to film everything that was going on. You know, when when we walked with Michael Jackson um, down in the city of Sanson City, with the crowds roaring and going crazy, you know, he wasn't wearing his mask. What was happening, Michael Jackson and all his bodyguards, they were basically walking around, shopping, going everywhere. While myself and Baden de Horror were walking behind the scenes while he was busy filming everything that was going on. So this is quite interesting what was wow. going on. And then when when we all went back to the hotel, then they called me up and then I met Michael Jackson and spoke to him a little bit. Very nice person. Yeah. Wow. Um very down to earth very, how can I say, the energy, I, I could actually feel the energy, the, re, the resonate, the connection. When I spoke to him, 
you know. So he actually got very big hands. Michael yeah. Jackson. And mm. you, well, he always wore gloves on one of them, so it's hard to tell all the yes. time. Yes. <laughs> no, and and what, what, was, what was quite interesting, I still remember his, the smell, his smell. He smelled like pine. Oh. Hmm. So like a pine perfect. tree. Yeah. Which is quite a nice, which is hmm. quite interesting. Yes, and, and it was in November, a nice time of year to smell like pine also. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Hold on. But I love Michael Jackson, always have. Uh, so where can we find your music? Uh, and do you have a website, uh, J-Max? Yes, it's www.jmaxmusic.com. Okay. It's got double X, J-M-A-X-X music.com. And... Everything's on there because uh, I'm on iTunes, I'm on Amazon, and a few other sites that my music is sold. And it's also on Music and Film, M-U-S-R-K, and Film Records. Okay. So it's also been sold there as well. What was that? Could you, could you say that one more time? It's on Music and Film? Yes. Uh, music and Film? Name. Yes, it's M-U-S-R-K. Okay. And, and film. Okay. Records. Uh, all right. Music and film. Oops. Yeah. Oops. Three <laughs> biggest spells. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. So I just yeah. wanted to touch uh, on you being an animal lover because uh, both uh, Monica and I are cat owners, and we adore our cats. So do you have a pet? And and uh, what uh, what brings you to animals? How much? Why so much? Uh, love? I love animals. I, I believe animals. Is a connection makes you connect to God because they're part of God. God. Ah. And the thing is with animals, they they can teach humans how to love because an animal has unconditional love. Mm -hmm. And when they are with you, they actually can um, you can actually feel the resonance, the connection of the, the your higher self, and you know. You know, they can teach all of us how to, to be there for one another. I've got a dog called Jasper. That's my baby boy. Oh. Uh. He's, a, he's a sharp pay. <laughs> oh, sharp pay. Got, yeah, he's a real, I had him since a baby. Very intelligent. Yeah. And he understands all the words I say. I've, wow. I've been teaching him since a baby. Uh, and I've got another dog called Flix. She's a... You could say she's a what are those dogs that race? Um, oh, the greyhounds. Greyhound, yes, yes. She's a, a she's a, a miniature greyhound. And then I've got two cats called okay. Socks and Dusty. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> kittens, kittens. Well, we normally have Punky, and uh, she's sort of adjusting now, but she's a beautiful yeah. cat. She, She's been our radio she's cat for what? She's here in the studio, but she's taking oh, a nap. She? She's taking a nap oh, right she? now, so. <laughs> a kitty cat. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted J Max to see her. Oh, uh, oh that's, a, that's that's okay. She'll be she's on the show cat. again. Yes, oh, well, she would love to. See. Uh, sometimes she comes on the show, uh, Carrie. So uh, yes, she does. She what she does is she uh, absolutely takes over Monica's camera. Yeah. Oh, I that's mean, nice. She's up there that's rubbing sweet. up against her chin and <laughs> purr. You can even hear her purr, J Max. I yeah. mean, yeah, that's that's crazy. <laughs> and she makes a great entrance. Yeah, yes, she does. She does. Yes. She's a diva. So uh, we're running out of time, but I want to take a moment to thank you so much for thank you. Thank taking time out of your life to be here with us and sharing yourself with us a little bit. I think that it's great for people to get to know the people behind the music. Mm -hmm. And um, you're just an inspiration to so many. Oh, thank you. And thank I, you so much for having me. And um, oh, I, I, hope, I hope that um, people will get to that uh, tour if they're in the area. Because you that's, mean, yes. yeah, yeah, because they'll really enjoy it. They'll have a great time. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. fun. We'd love to have you come to the United States too, J Max. Yes. Yeah, tell Mark to start through. working on that. Mark, 
get yeah. to tour everybody to the U.S. <laughs> I, I am actually planning to come to the U.S. in late 2018 or 2019 and start touring over there. <gasps> really? Cool. So I'm going to be there. Okay. We'll be there. Yeah, we I might be much see... older, but we'll be here. We'll be older. <laughs> Me too, I'll also be a bit older. <laughs> but we'll still be rocking, right? We'll be rocking. Yeah. But we'll, be awesome. we'll be hobbling in in our canes there, boy. But we'll be <laughs> uh, Thank you so much, J-Max. It's been such a delight talking to you. You're just a fantastic artist, musician. We wish you so much luck. Please keep in contact with Monica and send her any new music, anything new, because she will put it on her daily show. Yeah, we'll get it on the air, I promise. Okay. Thank you so much for having me. Well, you take care and we'll be in touch, okay? (laughs) Oh, that'd be so awesome. And you both, thank you so much for having me on your show and we'll speak to you soon. All right. I hope so. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Ah, <laughs> uh, nice guy. Carrie, really. He, re- he really is. And he, you can tell how much he loves um, bringing joy to other people, bringing entertainment to other people. It just comes right out of him. But it's funny because it seems like his family has been in some sort of entertainment. Yeah, circus. <laughs> They were in the circus. I think that's amazing. I didn't know that. Really, yeah, that's well, amazing. And, and he said they also loved music, and you know, he, so uh, very yes. interesting. And this is what they produced out of all that, and you know, that's a good thing. Yes. And all right, well, I tell you, I think we need a little bit more J Max's music. I do. So I'm ready, and folks, Carrie and I will be back next Sunday, as always. And until then, we're going to tell you to keep on rocking on. Bye-bye. Bunchy, bunchy.